changing to uh, New York City politics with uh, the scandals of Representative Weiner and he's out of office, he's no longer a viable candidate. Uh, who are you seeing as the top of the list for uh, New York City mayor? Okay. Well, I am uh, for the uh, Speaker of the City Council, uh, Christine Quinn. So, it's truth and packaging here. Um, and I believe uh, it will end up with Christine Quinn and uh, John Liu, who is the City Controller, and he's the worst. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is someone who would uh, bring New York City to its economic knees because he's in the pocket of the labor unions and the radicals and uh, so uh, I will be out there uh, at age uh, 87 as the advance man for uh, Christine Quinn. Did you see John Glenn by the way? I think he's 90. He's looking great talking about the space exploration. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Um, I, you know those two names you mentioned I follow politics not as much as you do but they're not very well known. Uh, who was the first one again and what's their, their accomplishment? Well uh, Christine Quinn is the speaker mm -hmm. and she's a very reasonable person who is devoted to the middle class. It's uh, morality, it's uh, quality of life, uh, the issues that they're concerned about and was responsible in great part uh, for putting together with the Mayor uh, Bloomberg the budget that saved uh, the firehouses, that saved uh, the, the teachers uh, who were scheduled to be uh, fired. There had to be income uh, found uh, with the assistance uh, of the teachers and other unions and uh, she uh, supported uh, Mayor Bloomberg and they worked out a wonderful uh, outcome with respect to our uh, budget this year. So I'm a big supporter of the mayor, uh, and I uh, don't know what he's ultimately going to do, but I certainly hope he supports Christine. No one under the uh, current mayor's staff that might come up, or how about Dick Grasso? That, I mean, well, I Dick Grasso doesn't even live in New York right, City, right. so forget it. Yeah.